Hi, Scorpio. Welcome into your reading. We're going to be looking into <clears throat> uh, an insight into 2024. What are the most important messages that you need to hear for 2024? And then we'll do a little bit of a deep dive into your love life. And then we're going to go also into your work life. So Universe Angel Spirit Guides, what are the most important messages that Scorpio needs to hear for 2024? Your card popped out. Same for Pisces. Interesting. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, I have five of cups. This is a little bit of guilt and regret over not have saying something or something that you did do or said or that you didn't. You get it. But on the table is here you are, the Queen of Cups, which is a Cancer Pisces Scorpio female card. I originally had picked up this deck. I never played with it. I just bought it. I just wanted to check it out. And I was thinking about, you know, I was going to use this deck. The card that fell out was the Three of Swords. And it was on the floor. But I guess I didn't use this deck because there are really no reversals. This is the OG. When I say OG, I mean the original Gangster Tarot deck. If you look at it, no matter how you see this, it's Six of Pentacles this way or even this way. This is where Tarot was invented, where it came from. Sorry for the lesson. It'll make sense in a sec. Back in the day, kings and queens, this is what they did for fun. They played with these cards. And then they soon realized that predictions were happening from these cards. This is why it's called the medieval Tarot, the medieval deck. And I had a feeling, because I was using these decks for every other sign, but this, this particular deck was calling to me uh, for you. And I, didn't, I put it on the side because I never used it for anyone. So I was like, well, maybe not. But you're getting the same cards that were flying out. So now I'm going to go back and use the OG deck for you because there's something tied to something medieval here for you, meaning, I don't know, past life kind of situation. The Three of Cups also kind of came out. Maybe there is a reversal. This is reverse. Uh, alone. Let's just put that there for now. It could be a third-party situation gone bad or not your way. Um, but unfortunately, you're going to be nursing some pain, and some pain just doesn't go away. Heartache can come from so many places. You know, it can be from a divorce, a breakup, a job loss, or a family member that we lose. Um, it's profound pain. So profound that the universe does this to us in ways to change our lives. The course of it, the nature of it, um, to learn from it. Uh, and funny because I was bringing up medieval before. Maybe this was like somebody from a past life and some kind of karma you had to clean from a past life. Whatever it is, it's made you more emotionally mature as a person. And it's definitely making you somebody that is also opening that heart chakra of yours. You're also, you're also seemingly to be emotionally available. But I do see the guilt and the regret at the bottom of the deck. Something that you wish you should have done. Now, I will use the medieval deck. Clarify this three of swords for Scorpio, please. You're the first for me to use this deck. Let me know how you feel about it. Too many come out, but let's see if there's a common thread. Yeah, this is way too many. Can you imagine sitting around as a queen one day and like, go fish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's like your future's right here. Um, Five of Pentacles being left out in the cult. Makes sense. We'll, um, the Ten of Wands. Okay. Burden. Um, glasses. The Empress. Oh, yes. Good old Empress and the Emperor. Okay, now I see why there's pain. And the Knight of Cups. First and foremost, the Empress and... The Empress by herself... She knows her worth. She knows her value. She brings things into this world. But it's lonely there. Not unless the emperor's there. That's the only person that can match the energy. You might have had 
an Aries or you were in a relationship or a situation or you still can be, who knows, where you're a power couple here with somebody but you feel left out in the cold now by them from or from that dynamic or you will be because we are reading for future but you do have the knight of cups somebody who is coming forward and inviting you to talk on that emotional level all right so i think that's you because you are the queen of cups who is the emotionally mature one where your your hand is out and i think it is you who will be delivering this message and saying to my emperor please need to talk to you this feels like a burden though because it's going to take work mainly because you feel left out in the cold let's continue i think your regrets lie from maybe having left this person or maybe there was an affair or a third party situation or you just didn't accept this individual jesus yes i'm getting a new desk and the setup is changing in the new year of wands definitely some sort of third party situation but you could have also been waiting for them for a while now that is a big thing that you're going to be dealing with in 2024 who actually what's the advice here for scorpio when this happens to you please come back to the video and watch it again in the new year some of you it can be a divorce others of you It's talking about being fair, balanced, and honest. That's the advice. Whatever you do, make sure it's ethical. Whatever you do, you don't want to mess with your karma. You want to make sure that you're above board. All right? Because I think you might also be dealing with another individual Scorpio. Because I do see the King of Cups back here. And you are having a passionate new beginning. So the regrets could be what you had to do in order to be with this. So just whatever you do, make sure it's fair, balanced, and honest. Make that final judgment call. You know, go out for your, watch out for your own personal, how do I say this? Um, not just your individuality, but your, your own protection financially for yourself um, and your financial security for yourself. And then death, something that really needs to end here. So maybe you are some of you going to court in regards to money, but this is talking about your independence financially making that judgment call and calling something an end but make sure you do it correctly all right interesting you have who or what is coming into scorpio's love life please the devil's in reverse which is a capricorn card but Talks about something not... Why are you getting so many cards? Damn. We'll put those there. Um, the devil in reverse. You're having a fresh new start in love. And most of you, it's a new person. However, you do have the Wheel of Fortune and the higher font here. So this is also marriage and commitment. It's also talking about having some kind of luck in regards to that department. Um... This might be a second chance with somebody you were married to or had a commitment with, but be careful with the, the magician in reverse, all right? Because this talks about um, not a reconciliation, but collaboration, collaborating here with this person. And the universe is going to give you a chance to collaborate with this individual, but I don't like the magician in reverse because that's a manipulator. And you know who that is. Sorry, my nose gets itchy with readings. Clarify the magician in reverse. Yeah, seven of swords, strategizing and being sneaky about it. I'm not saying that's you, it could be them, but be careful. High priestess, by not talking, using that as the secret weapon, king of swords. So that's a lawyer too, for those of you quite literally who are going to court. Um, that's why I was saying be fair, balanced, and honest. When you collaborate with this individual, may, and that's why you were getting that advice before, make sure it's fair, balanced, and honest. You don't want to uh, be sitting here manipulating anyone. 
or have, or you yourself getting manipulated, which I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Scorpio never gets manipulated. They see shit from a mile away. Um, but this is strategizing or being sneaky. High priestess using that badass intuition of yours to do so. Cause you know, you're gifted like that and they're not. And so you use it to your advantage. Um, and King of Swords is here. Some of you could be using a lawyer to do this or an, a third person to do this energy. But some of you could be dealing with a King of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius individual. You have a very complicated year ahead in your love lives. Just take the advice. If you're going to be with somebody else and this person wants to come back to your world... Tell them, say, look, I got involved with someone else. I just want you to be aware of it. Will they be pissed? Sure. You doing the right thing? They know. After that, it's their choice. Your karma is clean, Scorpio. So it's what you want to do. I mean, you don't have to listen to me, but <laughs> that's the sage advice. All right. Tell us more romance angels for 2024. Most important message for my Scorpios, please. Separation and true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. You probably feel that way about somebody that's in your world and separation, time apart from your partners on the horizon. Will it be the person that you're in love with or is it the person that you separate from to go towards your true love? Interesting to see how that's going to unfold. Let's see. Universe Angels, Spirit Guides, you want to tell us who separation is from? Nine of Cups. Two of Pentacles. The Star. That's an Aquarius energy. This can very well be... The person that you separate from that you have desires for, wish fulfillment, you're hopeful and positive, but you've been trying to, you've either been waffling with this person back and forth, or you've been juggling two people. That's who you're separating from. That's spirit is saying the person. Who's true love? Three of Wands, Justice, which is Libra, energy, and the higher font, which is Taurus, energy, Ten of Swords, Betrayal, back there. Okay, true love could be with the person that you had a possible third person you could be waiting for, or you're waiting some for some kind of results from. You could be divorcing them also justice and higher font is marriage or divorce three of wands could be third party or waiting for them how about we clarify and then we know it's the person you had to make a judgment call on Might it be an Aries? It doesn't have to be. It's the person that you, you're an empress, remember? This is your emperor. It doesn't have to be exactly an Aries, but it's the person you felt a power couple with. True love. But then you have desires from separation. I don't know if the universe is going to be teaching you the difference between real true love and lust. And what is has staying power in your life, Scorpio? Because there's the marriage card again at the bottom, higher font. Very, very interesting. All right. Let's go into work.
What can Scorpio accept, accept, expect in 2024 in their work and career lives? I don't like the magician in reverse. Why did you get that again? This is manipulation. This is betrayal. This is deceit at the bottom of the deck, back stack. This could be done to you, or you could be doing it. But this is manipulation. This is also Taurus energy. The magician in reverse. And then the page of swords is stalking. Are you... Do you feel this already, Scorpio? Are you actively kind of... CIAing somebody, FBIing someone? Are you, you know, MI6ing someone? <laughs> To see if they're trying to manipulate you or backstab you. Um, and what's the magician in reverse for Scorpio? What's that? Queen of Swords. Where? What did I say? Queen of what? Shackles. Oh, pentacles. That's what they used to call pentacles back then? Shackles? Here, I'll let you see it. All right. Well, that is an earth sign too, the queen of shekels. That's a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus energy. Knight of shekels. Interesting. Shekels are actually money, so this is right on point. <laughs> and nine of swords. All right. This, oh, look at this. Ten of swords, ten of swords. Modern version, medieval version. What's the Page of Swords? So the Magician in Reverse is clarified by somebody that you're stressing and having sleepless nights over. You're afraid of this person, this Queen of Pentacles. Um, it looks like it's paved in stability. I don't know if you're doing this or they're doing it to you. But the Page of Swords is clarified, again, by the Ten of Swords, the Two of Wands, and the Empress. It's like you know your worth and your value, so you're kind of not like giving up the goodie, Scorpio. Um, but you're looking to see who might want to betray you. You are at a crossroads, though. Make no mistake. You're debating whether you should stay or go somewhere. Eight of Cups. <laughs> Hell fucking yeah, I know what I'm saying. You're, the bottom of the deck is saying you might leave because of this energy that you feel like you're going to get betrayed or you might get backstabbed what's actually what doesn't what's coming in work or career towards scorpio they don't see coming i don't know if you're you have a lover at work or your love life is part of it and it looks like it could be messy or because here we fucking are again the emperor and the empress holy shit a lot of you that i'm reading this reading for a lot of you are married to your person and your careers and your jobs a lot of you i don't know if it's a family business for a lot of you others of you this is your business partner this is no fucking joke the, the emperor and the empress. This is like Beyonce and her husband. This is like hardcore. Who else is like a power couple out there? I can't think of right now. Jay-Z over there and Beyonce. The lovers is on top of it. You are ridiculously connected. That's either a business partner or your lover at work. Dang, your shit couldn't get more complicated, Scorpio. Clarify it. Seven of Cups. Choice. So is a lover. Temperance. Balance. Patience. An Ace of Cups. Fresh new start in something you will love. Ten of Pentacles. A lot of money. You're going to have some opportunity, my friend, to be this whole power couple situation or this partnership situation is going to bring you an opportunity to rain some serious dough. 
going to be one of your options. Wow, that's crazy. You, I don't know what's going on here with this lover, because lover is like, you were always going to meet this person, whether they're your business partner or actual lover, and they're at work. Always. The universe always was going to put you together and hoping that you will wake up and realize what you are to each other. Like, for example, I have this coworker. I can't stand her. She runs design. I run production. I produce her stuff. But without me, she's got nothing. And without her, I've got nothing. Uh, we don't like each other, but we're both hard workers. We both do our job uh, great. We just like to run our situations in different ways. But we are intricately intertwined. And I feel sometimes like the universe put me with this person so I can learn something from her and she can learn something from me. I've learned a lot from her, of course. I have no idea what she learned from me because she likes to she loves to put me down. But anyway, and she's my colleague. She's my peer. She's not above me. We just run different departments. But we need each other's department. It's like that, the emperor and the empress. Together, we create a product and it makes stupid money. Now, it's the same thing here with you. With lovers, there's something in your external environment that doesn't jive right, that doesn't make it work. And it can be a third party situation or it can be something else. And I don't know if there's some sort of manipulator in the works here or you're manipulating sort of something, you're keeping your eyes on something, but it is funky and complicated for you just the same. So overall, what is the advice here for Scorpio in workplace? There's the King of Pentacles in reverse. And there's the Seven of Swords, calculating and strategizing or sneaking away. See, you are trying to create some sort of structure in your life. You're upgrading it somehow, some way with the Four of Wands. You need to, because that's the advice. You need to elevate something. You need to promote yourself somehow or have a win, celebration. But this King of Pentacles in reverse is no bueno, not good for you whoever they are. Maybe it's a money man. Maybe it's an earth sign. I don't know what they are, but they're a king and you're an empress. They report to you. You are like, how do I put it to this? How do I put this toward to you, Scorpio? This king in reverse, first of all, they're in reverse for a reason. That's like getting rid of them, firing them, or they're not good for you in some way. Fuck a king anyway. You're a hero. That's the difference. Kings fight for nations. Hero fight for everyone, for their people. That's your status. That's your caliber. That's this person's caliber. So there's that. Take it how you imagine to take that in. Clarify. Oh, yeah. Two of Pentacles decide carefully weigh your options and go towards the thing that's going to be a fresh new start and something that's going to make you happy happy all right what's the last thing of advice here for scorpio please one more video to do and then i can go celebrate my christmas eve Merry Christmas, by the way, for those of you who celebrate. Those who do not, happy holidays. And I wish you a blessful and abundant new year. But before we go, here's your advice for career, work, and abundance. Have courage to ask for and accept help from others. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as it is accepting it as it is offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided to do. Don't be afraid to ask people at work. You're, no question is a stupid question. I look at my director. She's brand new. She's a Scorpio. 
And I know she goes to like other people and ask other questions so she doesn't seem silly, but it doesn't make sense for her because they don't work in my division or my department and they don't apply. So for her to learn the, the tricks of the trade or the ropes in the company, she's better off just coming to the people that she internally works with. She's not. She's not asking me for help. <laughs> and I tell her all the time, ask for fucking help. It will help you. So have the courage to do so. And you will benefit, Scorpio. Last but not least, and Min, if you're actually watching, I hope you heard that. <laughs> Shadow and light. I say it with love. Planning and destiny. If planning and destiny were sitting on each side of the scale, which one would weigh over? Are you comfortable with that? Some people believe that everything is destiny and nothing overturns out uh, uh, the way uh, that it shouldn't. And if we think it does, it would for a reason or a purpose. Sometimes no matter how much we plan or wish for something, it doesn't come true. Or if it does come true, in a diff it comes true in a different way than we expected it to. You are planning with your feelings, thinking about what you would like to happen, what you would like to achieve. But sometimes life has a different plan for you and your own plans might be swept away in the instant. It might feel painful and turbulent in the moment, but you will come to realize later that it could have saved you from making a big mistake. It may not be obvious at first and you will never see it if you keep looking away and focusing on what you missed out on. This card suggests that you need to take a closer look at things that have happened in the past that you're unhappy with and see if you can find a reason or a purpose behind it and turning and yeah, turning out the way that it did. If things had turned out the way you planned, would there have been something else that you might have missed out on instead? Perhaps you may have experienced other difficulties had it turned out the way you wanted. By looking at things with less regret and more understanding, you can connect with destiny and relive some of the pressure, relieve some of the pressure of trying to plan your life perfectly. That's so true. Guys, once upon a time, many years ago, I was single and I was like, universe, give me somebody who's going to love me forever. And I'm sitting here thinking about a romantic love of my life. I got pregnant two months later. Gave me somebody who's going to love me the rest of my life. Nine years later, here we are. That person driving slow in front of you and you're like sitting there beeping, hurry up, I gotta get somewhere. Two things. You don't know if that person is saving you from a car crash up ahead or making a big mistake. Or two, you by being five minutes late could give you some other kind of reward. You don't know. So there's that. There's planning and then there's destiny. So take that with a grain of salt, guys. And happy, beautiful new year to all of you. Please leave me your comments down below and many blessings to you.